Okay, so let's answer this question. What are real numbers? Okay, now, you know, I could sit here and give you a real specific mathematical definition. And you know what? That's probably not going to help you out because if you're looking for the answer to this question, you probably don't understand your book or maybe what your teacher is saying. So let me go ahead and try to give you a common sense way of understanding what real numbers are. And then I'll, then I'll kind of try to bring in the mathematical technical definition. Okay, so real numbers, you know, this is very easy. Real numbers are the type of numbers that we encounter in our real everyday life. So let me give you some examples here. So let's say you bought something and it was $2.95. Okay, so 2.95, that's a real number. It's a type of real number. Let's say it's cold outside and it's negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that negative 10 is a real number. Let's say, you know, you're looking at how much pizza you have left and you only have one third of your pizza left. That is a real number. Okay. Um, let's say you just got paid and you got paid, let's say, 1200 bucks. All right. That's another example of real numbers. So real numbers, okay, are a collection of various different types of numbers. Okay. So that's the first thing. Real numbers are, are made up of, of various independent kind of subset types of numbers. And you're going to study those, uh, yeah, I'm sure, if you're, if you're in algebra or if you're in pre-algebra, you'll study those different types of real numbers. You know, um, I'll just very quickly introduce them to you. You'll, you'll have integers. You're going to have uh, rational numbers. You're going to have um, irrational numbers. Actually, rational numbers is the abbreviation for it is Q in most mathematics textbooks. We won't even go there. I don't know why that, why they've done that. But anyways, it's, that's how it is. So you have integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers. Okay, you have whole numbers and natural numbers. All these types of numbers, okay, are numbers that make up the entire real number system. Okay, but these are examples of integers and rational numbers and whole numbers, etc. Okay, so I'm going to stick with this question here. What are real numbers? Now, before I go any further, make sure you come over to uh, algebratesthelper.com. Massive, massive free resource. We'll answer all additional questions you might have. All right, so let's get into this a little bit further. What are real numbers? So we already talked about, you know, these are kind of examples of numbers that we might encounter in our life, okay? And they constitute part of the real number uh, set. But from a mathematical standpoint, I want you to kind of think back on the when you study the number line, when you're first learning how to count numbers and everything else, you know, we'd learn about this idea of zero. And then, you know, when you're like two, three years old, you know, you were saying, okay, one and two, you start learning how to count three and four. And these are what we call, these are called natural numbers. And then when you throw in a zero, you have whole numbers. And so you're like, oh, wow, that's cool. And then later on, as you progress into mathematics, we started learning about negative numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three. And then you have all different types of numbers that fit in between here. Okay, so like right here might be the number two third, like right here might be negative 1.9, etc. Okay, so this whole entire line, okay, and all the numbers that are on it, okay, which are, you know, pretty much all the numbers you could probably think of. Um, here, let's give you another one. Here, pi, okay, hopefully you know what that symbol is. That's the number 3.14. One five and it goes on forever. It's not what we call non-terminating decimal. Okay, that goes on and on and on. But if you think about it, three point one four is kind of like maybe somewhere like right here. Okay, all the numbers that you could put on this number line are the real numbers. Okay, and just uh, as I was saying before, some of these numbers have different type of names. So like these right here, one, two, three, four. We would call the natural numbers. We throw in zero, we have the whole numbers. Then we have negative one, negative two, negative three. And we keep going. Now we have integers, etc. Okay. All right. So that's just a quick video on real numbers. Okay. So what are real numbers? Real numbers are those numbers that we encounter in everyday life. That's okay, a good way to think about them. But, they, but they're made up of a subset of numbers that we find on the real number line. Okay, so hey, listen, come on over to algebratesthelper.com. Save yourself some trouble of uh, trying to figure this stuff out on your own. And um, have a great day.